Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my winter slash Christmas candle collection. I'm super excited to film this for you guys because I actually just got most of these candles at Candle Day, so they're all pretty new to me. I don't have thoughts on most of them, so this will be interesting, but I'm going to read you the notes and stuff because I honestly don't have that many. Here's a sneak peek. I put them all in my bed already, but also this is my first um, official video filming with no braces on, so yay, so happy. Um, finally got them off. It's only been 10 months, so I got very lucky that I only had to have them on for so long, but yeah. If you want to see more, um, you can check out my vlog that went up, I believe, um, Monday. And I talk more about getting them off and my experience and stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, you totally can. Um, but let's get into the candle collection. Okay, so here is all of my candles just laid out on the bed. And um, this row down here is all from this year plus this one. And then this is all from last year. This is a DW Holmes candle. And then this one's also from this year, just a single wick. So I'm just going to run through it real quick. Actually, I think... All of these I picked up on candle day so all five of these are candle day pickups I got this one actually at SAS um, in the summer and then I picked up these two last year online for candle day so just like for reference when I got all of these but we will start with the oldest first so the first one is butter rum eggnog I have burned this once before um, last year scent notes are Spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. I know they came out with it again this year, but I'm not sure if it's the exact same scent. But I did burn it once already, and you know what? It's honestly not my favorite. It's like a little too, like, make you nauseous sweet. But I did keep it because it is like a very unique candle, and I do plan on trying to get through it. Um, I don't think I included this in my project pan for wax, but... Yeah, I am going to try and get through this. And then we have this one also from last year, which is not my favorite one. It's salted caramel. The scent nuts are roasted chestnuts, caramelized sugar, and spiced rum. So this one I have burnt a few times. And it's honestly just a plain caramel scent. There's nothing too crazy or special about this one. It's like a ooey gooey caramel. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. Um, it's also a little bit like cloying sweet. But really good for when I'm in a, like a caramel mood. Just not something that's super unique or anything. So not that I wouldn't, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're just looking for a very plain and simple salted caramel scent. So the next one I have is Tis the Season from last year. Scent notes are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. This is a classic. I fell in love with this one last year. I haven't actually burned this one at all yet. But it is such a beautiful scent. I might go ahead and start burning this one now just because it is in my project wax and it's the week of Christmas. I'm currently filming this on a Saturday, the Saturday um, before Christmas. Yeah, actually one week exactly. <laughs> so I might go ahead and pull this out and start burning it just because it kind of reminds me of Christmas. It's got that beautiful rich red apple with a little bit of cinnamon. It's just perfect for this time of year. So I will probably burn this one later on today. And then we're gonna start on the ones from this year. So first I have Red Velvet Cupcake. I love this packaging. I think it's so cute and simple. The scent notes are Lush Red Velvet Cake, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Sweet Vanilla. Honestly, to me, this one smells just like buttercream. I haven't burnt it yet. But yeah, it smells pretty much like buttercream. There's not too much crazy going on, but it's a nice, sweet scent, so I'm really excited to burn this one and see what I think. And then down here we have another Gourmand Give Warmth um, Marble Chocolate Cupcake. Scent notes are sweet cocoa, milk chocolate, topped with vanilla glaze. This one is really just like a chocolate, a chocolate Gourmand Cupcake kind of scent. It smells really good. I'm super, super, super excited about this one. I feel like this can be used all, you know, all year long. It really is not just specifically a Christmas scent, but it is a bakery scent. So, you know, if you're somebody who really only bakes, who really only, oh my gosh, burns bakery scents during the um, holiday season, then you might like this one a lot right now. Um, next, I have Blackberry Creme Frosting in this beautiful um, glass. Scent notes are fresh blackberries, sweet vanilla topped with bubbly Prosecco. This one smells amazing. Also one that I have not burned yet. It is like a blueberry, um, a blueberry with a hint of mint. I, 
I smell like a little bit of either mint or rosemary or something in here. Um, but very similar to champagne toast, honestly. Just with a little bit of berries and some sort of... Like, you know when you get a mojito, they, they have... I think they have mint in it. Or when you get like a mule, they'll do... Um, what do they do in mules? I think they do mint in mules too. I kind of get like that kind of vibe from this drink. So, or maybe it's the ginger... Maybe it's ginger beer that I'm thinking of that it kind of has that touch of ginger beer to it. Mm, it is really, really yummy though. Um, definitely a good sweet scent. I probably will br burn this in the transition from winter to spring because I feel like it's good for that time of year. Next, I have peppermint sugar cookie, a classic now. Scent notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy, bu creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. It honestly is just like a sugar cookie with some mint in it. Nothing like too crazy or like it's not going to be a scent that's going to bother people I think like you could have this one burning on Christmas day if you're hosting uh, family at your house and nobody will you know be averse to this one I had actually this one and twisted peppermint burning at my house last year when we had like a small gathering for uh, Christmas with just like our immediate family and they all loved it it just smells like peppermint with a little bit of beautiful like vanilla to it so really really yummy scent Super, super pretty and just like a nice, simple step up from like twisted peppermint or just like sugar cookie. It's just like a nice, simple, beautiful combination. The, these two are good comparisons because like I said, salted caramel is just like plain, simple caramel. Like there's nothing special about it. This one is special because they just added a little bit of vanilla to the peppermint and it made all the difference. So really, really beautiful scent. The next one I have here is peppermint hot chocolate. Scent notes are cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. This one I burned the other day, and man, it is a hot and fast burner. But oh my god, it's a glorious scent. Mm, I actually just had some hot cocoa with peppermint whipped cream, and it kind of smells like that. So it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I really, really love this. It's almost just like the same peppermint and peppermint sugar cookie except without the cookie and add some hot chocolate so it's like hot cocoa and cream and peppermint sugar cookie had a baby and this one is so yummy i really really love it moving on to single wicks we'll just start off with the bath and body works one i have raspberries and vanilla this one um i'll try to find the sentence online and put it down here i'm pretty sure it's just like berries vanilla maybe some prosecco or something i'm not quite sure but oh man this thing smells luxurious it smells so good it's like got like that beautiful i would say it's very similar to champagne toast too but with a lot more vanilla in it it's a beautiful scent this one i feel like i'm going to bring out like right around valentine's day and it's going to be really really gorgeous but definitely not exclusively a winter or christmas scent but still like really really pretty gorgeous um fruity scent if you're into that and the last candle I have is a DW Holmes Peppermint Bark Candle. Now this one on cold smells exactly like peppermint bark. I have burned it quite a few times. It is like peppermint bark, um, you know, like chocolate peppermint bark basically. It smells exactly like that on cold, but on warming or on burning it, it really does not have that much of a scent. It's kind of disappointing. I do have this in my Project Wax because I'm going to try and use it up, but... Yeah, it, it's not like the biggest scent thrower. I might put it in my candle crock um, just because it's really not performing that well. It's kind of sad, but what can you do? So yeah, trying to get through that one, but that is the last of my candle collection. So I really only have 10 uh, wintry candles and I'm trying to work through them right now. So that's everything for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below what is your favorite Christmas or winter candle right now. Currently, I think my favorite winter candle right now would either be Tis the Season, which I need to bring out, or uh, Peppermint Hot Chocolate, just because I have burned that one. I haven't yet gotten into Peppermint um, Sugar Cookie, but that one is always a favorite of mine. So yeah, so that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!